So if you follow the 2K community at all, then there's a pretty good chance you've heard of the YouTubers Pretty Boy Fredo and Agent. And even if you're not too familiar with the 2K side of YouTube, you still have probably heard of Pretty Boy Fredo because he pretty much abandoned the 2K community years ago now to start doing these pretty awful fake videos targeted towards kids. I mean, really anyone over the age of like 10 can barely watch any of his newer content without cringing. It's insane how low this guy's standards have really gotten for content. He really is a prime example of what happens when a YouTuber just sells out for ad revenue and views. I mean, we have classics here like $500,000 extreme hide and seek challenge. There's whatever you draw, I'll buy challenge. He got a new Lamborghini. And here's just an example of what these type of videos are like. Today, we will be playing hide and go seek in our new $5 million mansion for $500,000. I mean, you guys see what I'm talking about here. He's just one of those ridiculous, over-the-top YouTubers where just everything is exaggerated for the purposes of content and getting the video over 10 minutes to get ad revenue. And trust me, this guy really cares about ad revenue. Anytime anybody comes at him on Twitter, he either blocks them or just says how much money he has. Now, with all that being said, Fredo and another popular 2K YouTuber known as Agent have had a pretty long-lasting feud here on the platform. And it seems like this week, things have really started to boil over here. So last week, Agent made a video titled, Fredo, No One Is Buying Your Apology, where he addresses a situation where Fredo supposedly caught Rona, and then only weeks later decided to have a massive fan meetup in New York City with thousands of kids, where a very large portion of them weren't even wearing masks. And then after that, Fredo went on to make a pretty horrible apology video, where one of the main points he had was, oh, I didn't realize thousands of kids would show up, when the dude legitimately has almost 7 million subscribers. It was never like four people were gonna show up to this thing. So here's some clips from Agent's video on the situation. If you're making videos, I don't care if it's fake. If it is fake, I'll be able to tell and I will stop watching. But there's probably an audience for that. Whether or not they know it is, I don't care. It's not my purpose. But what I do know is that when you start faking predator videos and then seeming like the moral champion, like you just saved somebody. Wow, look at this horrible human. It was an actor. Then I know you've reached such a moral underpass that you're probably truly never gonna recover these people guys there's something wrong with them mentally but again my my problem is not with fake videos it's the fact that the, the, the type of videos you're faking and try and make you seem like a good person like in pretty boys fredo's catalog let's look at his catalog here man there's no shortage of videos of him donating money etc 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 and i talked about this on the podcast too i think that there's some benefit in that even though i know he's only doing it for pr sake when he donates in thanksgiving or whatever whatever the occasion is he He's giving money to homeless people. It's gonna inspire his influenced audience that, that pull up to these goddamn meetups and take over New York City and shit. It inspired them to give too. So I like when he does those types of videos because the net is positive even if he's really only doing it because he wants good PR. Now that video there is definitely pretty tame. I mean, Agent literally said, although he's just doing this for good PR, he is influencing his audience in a good way. And you know, influencing his audience to do positive things. And Pretty Boy Fredo decided to respond to that by making a video titled, Agent is canceled exposing this fraud. And this was by far the biggest L I've seen from Fredo so far. I mean, probably the main reason he says Agent is quote, canceled here is because apparently after Agent's video last week, somebody sent Pretty Boy Fredo a tweet saying that they hope his daughter gets Rona. And somehow Agent is responsible for that and he actually said that Agent sent the fan to do that. When you know obviously that couldn't be farther from the truth, Agent didn't endorse his fans to go attack him on Twitter. So here's that clip from Pretty Boy Fredo's video. And I'm gonna tell you guys the worst part about it all. This kid had his fans spamming me on Twitter threats to my daughter, to my child, a innocent being. How disgusting and a pig you are. You do not deserve a channel, you are canceled. And as a father, it's on sight, bro. You are a scum, you are a pig, and you are a clown, and you will be canceled. I mean, that's by far the worst thing I've seen Pretty Boy Fredo do throughout this whole feud with Agent. He tried to spin a tweet from a random Twitter user to say that Agent is canceled and he's scum and it's on sight, as if that's like Agent 
on a Twitter burner account, or he literally said in his YouTube video to go attack him on Twitter ruthlessly. And after Fredo's video was said and done, he was actually trending on Twitter for the situation, and he was getting clowned. It was crazy to see. I mean, he just had these kids on Twitter ripping him apart. I mean, this dude here said Pretty Boy Fredo against Agent Double Zero, 27 straight misses from three, almost 600 likes, and here's a tweet from Los Polos on the situation. And he said, Pretty Boy Fredo is the biggest weirdo I've ever seen on the internet. Dude is a loser who's been manipulating little kids for years. Guy is a straight psychopath. Now with all that being said, definitely let me know what you guys think about this whole situation in the comments. I'm definitely going to be reading through those, so let me know what you guys think about this situation. Do you agree with Agent? Do you somehow agree with Pretty Boy Fredo? Do you agree with him that Agent is cancelled? Let me know down in the comments. And definitely don't send any hate to Pretty Boy Fredo or Agent. I'm just criticizing some of the pretty outlandish stuff Fredo's been doing. I'm not trying to, you know, send hate to him or anything crazy. I'm not trying to end his career. Now with all that being said, that's where we're going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.